guys okay I wanted to make this brief video talking about Cardi B so I caught a little bit of love and hip-hop New York and Cardi B apparently had an altercation with this girl named Yorma Yorma is some light-skinned Latina and Cardi B is a light-skinned Afro Latina Cardi B is at this club. She catches her fuck buddy or friend or whoever he is to her with another girl, which is Yorma. Cardi B is like, who is this shoddy with So He ain't telling me something. I'm going to go over there and find out. So Cardi B walks over. She, she says hi to self being all friendly. She's like, hey. And then she kind of looks at Yorma like, What's popping? She gives she gives she gives Yorma this look like what's popping? She's being all rude to Yorma. She is. She's being very rude. And from what I've seen, because I haven't seen the whole episode, but from what I've seen, Yorma gets up and is a little bit defensive. She looks at self like, what's up with this chick? Yorma looks at her like, what's up? And then what's up with this chick? And Cardi B is being defensive. I feel Cardi B has no right to be defensive when Yorma wasn't even trying to come for Cardi B like that. Yorma was basically trying to discuss with Self because Yorma is already suspecting that Self is cheating on her, that Self ain't being faithful. Here comes Cardi B trying to start something. She came for a fight. She was looking for a fight. If she was not looking for a fight, she would not have put her hands on Yorma like that. So I don't like the way Cardi B disrespected old girl because for those saying, well, this girl shouldn't have came for Cardi all reckless because she was getting mad that, oh, Cardi was talking to her man and she should have like not have, she shouldn't have had a problem with Cardi. But that wasn't even the case. That wasn't her trying to start a fight with some girl because she suspected that this girl was fucking her unfaithful man. So I don't even think that it was the case with Yorma. I don't feel Yorma is like that. I don't feel that she is someone that's just going to be fighting people for stupid reasons like over a nigga. I feel that's Cardi B. I really do. And after seeing that clip, that's definitely Cardi B because... This bitch fucking puts her fucking fingers in her face and Yorma tells her, watch where you're waving your fingers. Watch where you're, watch where you're waving your fingers at. Yorma gives her a warning because I feel Yorma is someone that if you disrespect her and if you put her hands on her, she's going to fucking fuck you up. I feel that is someone that Yorma is and that's someone that I would fuck with because I'm not like that. If you put your fucking hands in your face, I mean in my face and you waving it like blah, 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 blah. I'm like... Watch where you're waving your fingers because if you fucking do it like that, I'm going to fucking think that you are trying to fight me. That is a fighting stance. Yorma was on guard, but she wasn't even trying to come for fucking Cardi B. She looks at self and says, are you fucking her? Cardi B is like, no, let me tell you something. Yorma's like, okay, tell me. And Cardi B's like, I fucked with him and I'm still fucking him. And Cardi B fucking puts her hands on her and starts fighting her. Like, Cardi B, you are fucking wrong. You should not have put your hands on her. I could understand if she tried to fucking fight you, but there was no reason for you to put your hands on her because you mad that the guy that you fuck with is fucking with some other girl and you trying to start something. You trying to get into a fight with this chick, but you ain't gonna fucking talk, talk like that to fucking self. In the next clip, she's like, Oh, if a girl has beef with me, she's gonna have beef with me forever. And she's talking to the same guy, apparently. And it's like, why the fuck are you even fucking with him? You know that he's lying. So I don't understand why you mad at fucking Yarma when Yarma's trying to fucking be cool with you. She wasn't even being that disrespectful. I feel Yarma was like, you know, Cardi B, you being a little rude. I don't fucking trust you. I don't know who the fuck you is. But my main issue is with my man. So let me deal with that. But Cardi B's like, no, I'm going to fucking fight you because how dare you fuck this guy that I like? How dare you fuck the nigga that I'm fucking with? Because, you know, I'm I'm the only bitch in his life. I feel that's what Cardi B was trying to do. Like fucking Cardi B. I don't fucking understand. And I don't understand why people 
stand so hard for Cardi B when she is fucking problematic. In her latest video, I think it was last week, she's talking about how she looks like a fucking boy. Who fucking says that shit? Who says that shit without being trans misogynistic? Because in a lot of her fucking videos, she conflates stripper pussy, sex work pussy, to being a female. She does. She conflates being a female sex worker to having a pussy. It says so in a lot of her videos. I understand if you are a cis woman, then you're going to talk about your fucking sexual genitals. I understand that. Your sex organs. But... I just feel that Cardi B has said things that are inexcusable. Her anti-Semiticism, her colorism, her mildly anti-black comments. Other people have reported Cardi B saying things that were anti-black. And people have said that Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta has said similar things. But on my blog, I put that it's a little bit different with Jocelyn because she is dark skinned. She is a dark skinned Afro Latina. And although I do not approve of her prior comments, this was actually a long time ago, probably back in 2010 or 2011 when Jocelyn had said these things. So I hope that Jocelyn has changed because she's so funny. She's unapologetic. She's not going to give a fuck if you disrespect her. And she's not someone that's going to be a fist happy bitch and fight you over a fucking nigga unless you want to square off with her. I feel Jocelyn is the realest bitch on the show. And I feel, what's her name? Rashida. I feel Rashida is also the realest bitch on the show. I don't like these other bitches because they don't even know how to handle their own situation. When they get into a fucking fight, they play victim. Cardi B was playing victim. People are making Cardi B out to be this victim when she should have never put her hands on Yorma. She should have never done that. Yorma is cool. She's a cool, light-skinned, non-black woman of color. She's fucking cool. Or maybe Yorma is an Afro-Latina. I don't know. I know that she's Dominican, so she could be Afro-Dominican. There are a lot of Afro-Dominicans, so I'm not going to knock that she's completely non-black. But from what I've seen, she's racially ambiguous. She does not look like she does not look like an Afro-Latina like Cardi B. She doesn't look light-skinned. She looks full-on non-black woman of color. But I could be wrong. But Cardi B is not cool for what she did. I don't have much respect for people who put their hands on other women because they trying to start something over a nigga who's playing them both. Cardi B even admits, well, I didn't know that he had a girlfriend, which that's okay. I understand. I don't sit there and say, this is your fault because he's cheating on his girlfriend and you're the side hoe and you're the side chick and you're not anyone to be respected. But I don't respect someone who puts their hands on another girl because she's mad that this girl is with the with the guy that she's dating because again Cardi B's not even being rude to fucking self. She's like, "Hey, what's poppin'?" being all friendly and then looks at fucking Yorma like, "And who is you, bitch?" And that's why Yorma was like, "Well, what's up with this chick?" Because if you at a fucking club with your boyfriend or someone that you are fucking with and this other girl comes up and is acting all hostile and acting kind of like a riled up dog and being all like, yo, what's up? And, you know, giving you these weird looks and then looking at him like, so ain't you going to tell me something? You want to be like, yeah, what's up? I feel that Yorma could have probably handled it a little bit better and she should have been so rude about it. But at the same time, in that situation, I feel that it was an appropriate response. It was a conditioned response. I don't have a problem with people who make these conditioned responses because I don't feel Yorma again is someone that's going to fight you for no reason. She's not going to fight you because you fucking her man and she's going to place the blame on you. I don't think that was the case at all. I like to look at things case by case. And from the looks of it, Cardi B was completely wrong. She was wrong. So I feel like Cardi B has a lot of growing up to do. Because this whole, well, she's young and she grew up poor. Cardi B and I are nearly the same age. I'm 22, she's 23. She was born in 1992, I was born in 1994. And I feel that to say that she is young, but I'm more quote unquote woke than her. And there are a lot of people who come from poor backgrounds, who come from low income neighborhoods, who are more woke than I am. So... To sit there and to 
blame the fact that she's not middle class or that she's lower middle class and she was a sex worker and that's why she's basically a problematic bigot with some internalized misogyny. I don't agree. Yes, Cardi B tells young women to embrace themselves and not let a fucking nigga get to their heads, but I feel like Cardi B was letting a fucking nigga get to her head. I feel that maybe that wasn't the best light for Love and Hip Hop to show her. Like I said, I don't like Love and Hip Hop. You know how I feel about it. So I feel like it could have been staged because, you know, I feel like Cardi B, I don't think, I, I don't understand why a woman would just all of a sudden just grab another woman and start fighting her. And this bitch was fucking trying to hit her too. But this bitch can't even fight. She's giving these baby punches and like hitting her head. I'm, I'm like looking, she's like, like hitting her head. And I'm thinking like, that don't even look like it hurt. And people are saying, yeah, Cardi B got that bitch. Okay, you only saying that because it's Cardi B. If it were some other girl, if it were like some girl you didn't like, you would have been mad and said, how a side chick gonna fucking hit on another woman when he got a, when she got a man and, you know, she being disrespectful and blah, blah, blah. And I don't agree with that. But I feel like if it were anyone else but Cardi B, they wouldn't have not been on her side. They would have been like, Cardi B should not have done that. But because they want to be fucking stands and just stand for someone who is consistently problematic and is not changing. I was called a classist bitch because I didn't like Cardi B for what she was saying. I'm a disabled girl. I got, I got fucking autism. I've been called retarded a lot. So you think I'm going to appreciate it if some fucking seemingly neurotypical bitch is going to be drawing the fucking R word like that? Absolutely not. So how am I classist because I don't care for her ableism? There are autistic and disabled fucking sex workers. What the fuck? So why are you sitting there calling me a fucking classist and a whorephobic bitch? Because I don't like a sex worker who makes ableist statements, who talks shit about other sex workers, her fucking co her fucking co her fucking co-workers, compares them to fucking monkeys. She literally fucking said that she doesn't understand why these ugly monkey-like bitches are getting the attention. And people try to say, well, monkey is not really racist. Yes, it is. It's fucking coded for a dark-skinned person with big lips with a wide fucking nose. Damn, this video is longer than I thought. But like I said, I don't appreciate Cardi B for coming for old girl. I'm going to stand for fucking Norma because she's cool as fuck. She seems like someone that I would rock with. Cardi B, you know, you're like, it's basically like you're at negative 10 right now at all the shit that you've done and said it has pissed me off. So, bye. Oh, and Happy New Year.